everybody, welcome back. I have, uh, you're probably wondering why you're staring at this tabletop, but I've been promising I was going to share with uh, some of you <clears throat> my new studio um, and how I managed to um, create in, while living in an RV. So it's very cluttered, guys, right now, but I've just completed two journals. And I've actually done a tidy up, but I just thought you guys really do need to see uh, what it looks like where I'm working at. Um, so let me just get some more lighting on here. And here we go. So this is my space. This is our little dinette um, in the RV, and this can be broken down for like a double size bed but we've tried it it's not very comfortable so you're not interested in that what you want to know is how I, I am storing things and how I'm making this work so this is where I create this is um, some the new lighting I've purchased on eBay I'm mean, not eBay sorry on Amazon um, you can just look up lights I don't have an affiliate sorry affiliate link with Amazon now so uh, you're not going to find that in the description box you can just search it out yourself uh, but these have really helped I think quite a bit in eliminating some of that shadow um, this is I've had this since the UK this is where I mount my camera so that I can um, film within this area okay so there is um, the sewing machine I'm I'm using, this is the Brother. It's a pretty basic, but it's got quite a few. It's got 59 stitches. Um, and I still have not mastered this, but what I did purchase was, this is supposed to be like a muffle pad to help um, cut down on some of the noise, and I thought that was pretty important here. But in all fairness, I tried the, the sewing machine without it, and it's not a very loud machine compared to my Singer. Um, all right, so this is where I do the filming and I, I work. So <clears throat> the other thing I had to overcome was I needed this. Sorry, that's Daisy moving around if, if you're hearing a lot of noise. This is a project that's upcoming. You guys will see that very soon. I had to overcome the printing issues because, as I had said to you guys, uh, when I took some images in to be printed, uh, it was outrageous. So I have went with this Canon PIXMA TR150. If you, it's very compact, very compact, but I wouldn't recommend this if you've got room at home for a full size printer. The thing is so slow. What I do is just put a job on it at night and let it go because it does take ages. Uh, so that's great. So I guess why I'm trying to, to show this is if you don't have room, that is definitely, I, I would highly recommend that. And I think what I'll do is pull that out so you guys can see. So just bear with me. Okay, guys, so this is the size of it. And just so you can kind of have some perspective, that's a sheet of paper. Um, it's pretty small. And then you just open it up and you feed your paper through here and it's doing a very good job now how much is going to cost me in ink I still haven't worked that out yet um, as I said if you've got the room I would I would recommend a full size but we just didn't have the space for it so this has worked out really really well for me um, okay so that's how I'm printing on the road uh, another thing I've found is I'm using these containers you can get from Walmart. I know they're about three fifty each, and I've uh, you know I'm trying to stay somewhat organized um, with my inks and the things that I know I need to get to that I use over and over. Inking, glues. I'm trying to keep that uh, beside me, really. And so what I'm going to do is is zoom out and guys, it is. Kind of messy in here 
So, um, on the side of my recliner, I've got a long drawer here, and that's where I keep my printer when I'm not using it, uh, the mount, and I put in here along with the lighting, and I keep that all stored in my side compartment. Um, it's a nice, long, deep um, cabinet, so that works out really well for me. <clears throat> and going above, sorry, I'm just going to sh shut these blinds a little bit so you don't see everybody. Um, this is above the the sofa area of our RV. There's Paul's caps there. Um, I've got three cabinets. So this is how I am making this work, guys. I've got a big cap um, container there. That's a large one that I'm keeping my fabrics in. And then everything else is the same size. I would say it's kind of like a shoebox size. I've got lace above there. This is all of my papers, envelopes, um, washi tape stickers. I've got some shipping paper back there, as you can see. And then over here, I've got... Um, this is uh, shipping tags that I purchased. This is my little off-cuts uh, basket where I put my scraps of paper. This is paper bags, envelopes. Um, I've got some stamps. This is paints and glues. And then the third one here is one of the containers from Michael's. That's got all of my little bits of ephemera from Tim Holtz or little um, brads, metal pieces. That way I can keep them divided. It's easy for me to pull that out and know what, what's, um, what I'm looking for. I've got a scoring board there. This is just one of those plastic containers and I hold my printed um, digital kits. When I print them off, I try to keep them in there unless I'm working on them, okay? So there is how I'm doing it. You can see now um, why I'm having to try to really stay within a couple of color um, schemes because it's just, I don't have a whole lot of space. Um, I do actually have one more area that I can store things, and that's down here under the dining room seat. You can see I've got my little vacuum there, but that's where all of this is being stored. Again, it's another large container. In here I keep my um, file folders, all of the little magazines that I've picked up along the way. I would say this. a lot of this actually is for my own journaling, because as you know I've started to journal myself. So I've collected little uh, flyers and magazines from different areas that we've been in and and so those are under there um, these are just some other here's some paper pads those go under there and then various books um, and as you can see it's I'm, I'm starting to get more than I've actually got room for so I'm gonna have to do a sort out of some some kind but this is what I'm talking about like when we were in Colorado I grabbed this because I was living in Gunnison so that I can pull images from that when I'm doing some journaling on when we were in Colorado. Um, so there, <laughs> there you go, guys. Um, this is actually my um, sewing machine uh, bag holder. Uh, that's a great place. I can keep <clears throat> extra little bits. As you can see, daisies. <laughs> daisies in the way. Um, I'll just show you. I picked this up off of Amazon and this has worked out really well. I'm sorry about the camera guys. So this is holding a couple of pairs of scissors and I've got some buttons in there and some extra thread and then the sewing machine goes in here when I'm not using it and I can put that pad in there as well. Let me get this out of the way. Daisy's trying to snooze. And then, sorry I'll try to turn this very easy. Um, then what I do is Paul's made me a cabinet behind uh, um, just one second I'm going to have Paul pull the TV out so he's made yeah there thank you Paul <laughs> so he's made 
this this is like an entertainment center in our RV and so this was all just wasted space so Paul came in and and made a little frame around the cutout and now I've got this extra <laughs> bit of space here so that holds my cardstock my paper for uh, printing the digitals and then my coffee papers and then this is fabric that I've thrifted along the way and actually even further back there I've got some more stuff so what I'm going to do um, and my sewing machine <laughs> sewing machine will fit in here when we're traveling or when I'm not using it it fits perfectly in there um, so that's been a great little space um, Okay guys, so that's what it looks like when the machine is in there. It's not in it right now, but it's great because the side of this little bag will hold the um, pedal and the, the power cord. So it's just a great little place that when we are actually moving the RV, I don't have to worry about it uh, being damaged. So that's, uh, I'm really grateful to Paul for having done that for me. So... Let me just get this back. And, <clears throat> and so that's that's what it looks like um, with the TV there. So as you can see, it's a very, very tight space. We still haven't done a tour of this um, this RV yet on our other channel. But uh, that just gives you guys a little sneak peek of how I managed to make it work in here and it, it is it is a lot of work because when I'm done working I have to put everything away and then the next time I get the chance to work I have to pull everything back out but I enjoy doing it and uh, it's worth it to me um, just to, to be able to have a little bit of my supplies here so okay guys so I am now going to if that's all you were interested in seeing um, you can certainly uh, stop viewing at this point but I am going to change the angle now and share with you some of the things that I've uh, managed to to find in thrift along the way so stay tuned Okay guys, so some of the things that I've um, been purchasing lately to get set up again. Uh, I want to start with a Etsy shop share. Um, this is a new shop to me and it is called Huckleberry Sky. Uh, I knew that if uh, trying to coffee dye or tea dye, dye while we're living on the road would just be too difficult. So I found this shop and um, I purchased this. I'm very, very happy with, with the papers that, um, that she sent. So I thought I would just share with you guys in case you are interested. She does other uh, items on the shop as well, so you might want to check her out. She's on Etsy. It's Huckleberry Sky. All right, so that was a purchase I made because I knew I needed some papers to put in the journals. This was... Um, just a big bundle I picked up at a flea market and these are just some old old uh, I love that image I think that I'm gonna keep that probably and put in one of my own journals um, but I always like to if I find these at a good deal look at the I love the the font on that um, and I, I like the tissue paper can use a lot of that so this was a really good buy because it gives me a lot of different things to work with. Um, so I picked that up and that's just full of different um, patterns and uh, various things. <clears throat> okay, so a Amazon purchase was this chiffon fabric. It's it's. Uh, torn so you've got a nice frayed edge on both sides. I picked it up in the, the purple and the green because as I said I'm trying to stay uh, working in, in those colors so that I don't have to purchase too many different things um, to create with. So that was an Amazon purchase. Um, for those, um, I'll sit those out of the way. This was thrifted this is um, some beautiful fabric 
ribbon and I love that pattern. Uh, 40 yards of that for two dollars I couldn't pass it up even though I probably won't be able to work with that right now. Um, I just I, I hoard. <laughs> you know I hoard things so I had to have that. Some more little trims I picked up. I like these colors. I know I'll use those so I picked that up. This is another one probably not uh, anytime uh, soon that I'll be using that but it was 10 cents so I picked it up and these I thought I could do some um, avocado dyeing with and some tea dyeing and that would be easy for those to dry in the RV. Another one probably a color I won't use but this has got 20 yards and it was 65 cents so I picked that up and I'll just kinda hang on to that until I find a use for it. Now these were um, from a thrift store in Col uh, Utah. Uh, one of the thrift stores I ran across <clears throat> and I got all of these neutrals for 75 cents and there's probably at least five or six yards in that and you'll see <clears throat> I got that one I got this one, same thing. Uh, some of these are at least three yards just for the one. So that was a really, really good deal. And look at those for autumn. Some beautiful colors there. So <clears throat> I'll run out of room here, guys, so I'll have to just stop and put things away. <laughs> but look at all of these. Beautiful. It must have come from a quilter. Um, but as soon as I spotted them, I grabbed a basket and just took everything in the colors that I knew I would use. Those are just oh, beautiful. <clears throat> Another one there. And then this one. And almost done, guys. Blues. Aren't those pretty? And then I got one in the purples. So... That was a really, really good find. So that I'm just keeping stored behind the TV as I showed you guys because there's no place else for me to keep them right now. This was another piece I got. I think this is about a yard. I got that for 50 cents, but I loved it. Uh, 1990. Beautiful colors, so I think that'll be nice on a journal cover at some point. I don't know if I'll be able to do that on the road. but um, So those are some of the things. Let me get these put away, and I'll continue on. Okay, so we were out yesterday, and if you've been following me for a while, you will get, you'll get the humor on this one. Uh, we went into a thrift store, and lo and behold, there was a huge box of window envelopes, and there must have been a thousand of them in this box. If you've been following me, you know that in the UK, I purchased a thousand window envelopes for a pound, and when I left, I still saved some of them, um, but... When I left there, I ended up having to just throw them out because I had only used a fraction of them. So I went into this shop, and she had another thousand. And uh, so there we go. I probably got, uh, gosh, I don't know. I'm going to say probably a hundred. <laughs> but it still takes up quite a bit of room, so... Yeah, I paid a dollar for a hundred of these. I'm guessing it's a hundred. I don't know. It could be a few more. But um, I was tempted on the whole box. And to be honest, I could have had the whole box for the same amount. But I said to her, I said, oh, I, I can't. I don't have room for all of them. So I was delighted when I saw that. It was so funny. Because um, <clears throat> the strange thing was, I was really hoping I would run across some of those. Because um, the window envelopes it's you usually have to order those from Amazon and I didn't want to have to pay that much just to get some so I bought those um, 
this was at a completely different place, and that's not what I paid for these. Um, I got to chatting with the lady. It was a little garden center, and she had a little um, coffee shop in there, and I started talking to her about it, and she said, oh, since since this is since you use these for your business um she marked them down way down i think i paid 3.95 350 for that and then i paid about $5 for both and i really liked this one because it's got the lines and the date and then the numbers i just thought it was a really useful set and this one i just like just because i like farmhouse so, I uh, got that. Um, I just purchased <clears throat> some glue. This is the Scotch glue. I purchased this off of um, Amazon, and I'm very, very happy with that because the formula of the <clears throat> Dollar Tree one seems to have changed, and it, I'm not very happy with the results on that, so I, I just had to go ahead and, and change it. So this is the um, the stencil and the stamp set I was telling you guys I purchased. This is the Stanthers Anonymous, and that's what it's. It's got this combo stencil and the butterfly stamp. So I'm really happy with that purchase. Um, I think I've shared with you already these stamps. I've got a storage uh, coming very soon that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to be uh, a good storage, you know, for these stamps. Um, okay, so that. Uh, picked up some Stazon ink. I was talking about that as well for my fabric, so I went ahead and purchased some of that. And then I got some of these Tim Holtz brads. I purchased these at Joann's, and the, they were 40% off, so I went ahead and picked up some of those. And let me just pause now, put these things away, and I'll carry on. Okay, guys, uh, I think I shared with you this little book before. Um, putting it kind of sitting this one to the side because I'm thinking it would be really fun for me to alter this for myself because the journal I'm working in now I'm thinking I'm going to fill that up fairly soon. I shared with you this book um, because we did a project out of that. So I'll sit that over. This um, was at an antique shop in Colorado and I've been looking for one of these for ages. It's not the original, but I don't care. The images are so, so pretty. Uh, I just picked that up. I think I paid $2 for it, for that one. I picked up some of these. This was a deal, uh, 50 cents for these vintage division cards. So, 1958, I'm very happy. They're in perfect condition, so I'm thrilled about those. <clears throat> and this little book I just found uh, yesterday when we were out thrifting, and I love it, love it, love it. I used to have um, this, I don't know, I'm assuming this is going back probably the 80s, because at one time I had all this scrapbooking paper by Suzanne Branch, and uh, this actually matches it, so I'm thinking this is probably going back to early 90s or something. But I also picked up some of these um, at a little, but this was a different thrift store, and I just couldn't resist. I thought, oh, I'm going to pick up a few of these um, just to add to some vintage journals. So I'll actually keep those back in there so they don't get damaged. Um, but this little book... Isn't this sweet? I can I can see using this in some journals. Just beautiful. I I just think her artwork is so pretty. So this would be a lot of fun to make make some journals using those pages. Um, this I got a book of poems because I've been wanting something like this so that I can pick out some poems to write down in my own journal. But then I thought, um, 
once I've I've gone through, then I'm happy to use these book pages. I think this would be really pretty to add to journals, and I thought it would be nice just to tear some of these out and make some tags out of that. So I'm really, really like that book. It's funny because I buy these books, and then when I get them back here, I think, oh, do I want to tear into it? But I can't, um, I really don't have the room to keep hauling these around. So I'm going to have to try to get get through these because I'm running out of room. Um, this is another book that I picked up yesterday. I've never seen this before. This was a Reader's Digest and I got this for 50 cents. So I thought it was a really nice uh, book. Well, look at the images. Aren't they pretty? And then I, of course we always need uh, music, music sheet pages. So I love it. I love it with the spiral bound. Um, and I actually like the colors. Probably if I was at home I would clean this up and I might even would just keep this because I've never seen one like this before. And it's in very good condition. The only thing is written on is that bit. 1969. So I would probably, if I was at home, would have just uh, cleaned this book up and put it put it on the shelf and looked at it, but I can't do that now. Um, these were purchases I made at Joann's. I hadn't seen this paper pack, and it is gorgeous. It's preserved paper, and they had a 40% uh, off. Uh, these are double-sided. Some of them's got the gold foiling in them, and I just thought, oh, while I'm on the road, it'd be nice to have a couple of stacks. Um, Maybe, you know, on the days that I'm not really wanting to work on a journal, I could just do some small projects. And, of course, this one I fell in love with, the Chateau Lavender Stack. Um, this is a beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. This, these are these are all one-sided, but that's okay because most of the time um, I, I don't need the double sided anyways unless I'm making using them as a journal page but I like the the cutouts in the back are really nice for um, layering and making some some tags and t and uh, journal cards with so so purchase those so okay I'm gonna pause it and I'll dig through and see what else I can share with you okay guys uh, I think I shared with you this little book before um, putting it, kind of sitting this one to the side because I'm thinking it would be really fun for me to alter this for myself because the journal I'm working in now, I'm thinking I'm going to fill that up fairly soon. I shared with you this book um, because we did a project out of that. So I'll sit that over. This um, was at an antique shop in Colorado. And I've been looking for one of these for ages. It's not the original, but I don't care. The images are so, so pretty. Uh, I just picked that up. I think I paid $2 for it, for that one. I picked up some of these. This was a deal, uh, 50 cents for these vintage division cards. So, 1958. I'm very happy. They're in perfect condition, so I'm thrilled about those. And this little book I just found uh, yesterday when we were out thrifting, and I love it, love it, love it. I used to have um, this, I don't know, I'm assuming this is going back probably the 80s, because at one time I had all this scrapbooking paper by Suzanne Branch, and uh, this actually matches it, so I'm thinking this is probably going back to early 90s or something. But I also picked up some of these. Um, at a little, but this was a different thrift store, and I just couldn't resist. I thought, oh, I'm going to pick up a few of these um, just to add to some vintage journals. So I'll actually keep those back in there so they don't get damaged. Um, but this little book, isn't this sweet? I can, I can see using this in some journals. Just beautiful. I, I just think her artwork is so pretty. So this would be a lot of fun to make, make some journals using those pages. 
Um, this, I got a book of poems because I've been wanting something like this so that I can pick out some poems to write down in my own journal. But then I thought, um, once I've, I've gone through, then I'm happy to use these book pages. I think this would be really pretty to add to journals. And I thought it would be nice just to tear some of these out and make some tags out of that. So I'm really, really like that book. It's funny because I buy these books and then when I get them back here, I think, oh, do I want to tear into it? But I can't, um, I really don't have the room to keep hauling these around. So I'm going to have to try to get, get through these because I'm running out of room. Um, this is another book that I picked up yesterday. I've never seen this before. This was a Reader's Digest. And I got this for 50 cents. So I thought it was a really nice uh, book. Well, look at the images. Aren't they pretty? And then, I, of course, we always need uh, music, music sheet pages. So I love it. I love it with the spiral bound. Um, and I actually like the colors. Probably if I was at home, I would clean this up. And I might even would just keep this because I've never seen one like this before. And it's in very good condition. The only thing that is written on is that bit, 1969. So I would probably, if I was at home, would have just uh, cleaned this book up and put it, put it on the shelf and looked at it, but I can't do that now. Um, these were purchases I made at Joann's. I hadn't seen this paper pack, and it is gorgeous. It's preserved paper. And they had a 40% uh, off. Uh, these are double-sided. Some of them's got the gold foiling in them. And I just thought, oh, while I'm on the road, it'd be nice to have a couple of stacks. Um, maybe, you know, on the days that I'm not really wanting to work on a journal, I could just do some small projects. And, of course, this one I fell in love with, the Chateau Lavender Stack. Um, this is a beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. This, these are these are all one-sided, but that's okay because most of the time um, I I don't need the double-sided anyways, unless I'm making using them as a journal page. But I like the the cutouts in the back are really nice for um, layering and making some some tags and t and uh, journal cards with. So. So purchase those. So okay, I'm gonna pause it and I'll dig through and see what else I can share with you. Okay, guys, here's a few other purchases. Uh, Dollar Tree. There's only seven of them in there. They used to have more, but that's enough. That'll get me through for a little while. This was another purchase off of uh, Amazon for some washi. I don't know. I still don't know if I actually like washi tape, but I really purchased this for my own journaling and um, because I'm doing that Margaret Miller challenge and sometimes she has, you know, prompts for washi and I thought, well, I'll, I'll just go ahead and pick up some. So, got those. Um, oh, I haven't shared this with you guys. But I found this in Colorado. There was a little shop we stopped at, and the woman does, um, she, she takes old pieces of furniture, and she, you know, does the chalk paint on them, and then she does decals and stuff. It was a, such a good little shop. And I uh, spotted these. In fact, there's another one. Yeah, I spotted these hanging up on the wall, and this is Prima. Um, it's um, tissue paper, but I'll show you the image of that one. It's the, the sorry, let me get this lighting sorted out. I changed that when I was showing y'all. So this is the one, it's got the old vintage women, and I just couldn't resist it. I picked that one up, and then this one is just... Um, open it up. I'll see if I can get it out without um, 
taking too much of a mess, but I've never seen these before because <clears throat> you don't tend to find any independent uh, stamp or crafting stores anymore. And uh, I'd never seen these. I never purchased like off of the Prima site or anything like that. So this was new to me, and I just thought they were really pretty. I just, I just thought, well, I'll go ahead and buy them because <clears throat> I may not use them while I'm on the road, but at some point, I think these will be beautiful for some journal covers and then um, just tags and things. In fact, I might play with that today. I might tear some of that off and do, um, now that I've got my matte gel, I might try to make some tags using this. So I picked those two up, um, and that's been quite a while back since I was there, but that was fun. Uh, you've probably seen all this kind of stuff. This is the um, worn wallpaper scraps from Tim Holtz. It was 40% off, so I picked that up because it's got the die cuts and then some papers. I haven't even opened it yet, as you can see. And then this, I... Got, these are t the Tim Holtz uh, little mini file folders, and this is how I'm going to use these because I'm actually going to use these as templates and take my Manila um, Dollar Tree. Well, actually, I'm purchasing my Manila folders now from Walmart because you get more and they're less money. So if you guys are looking for uh, file folders, Walmart is the better value. But I'm actually going to take these and trace them out on the, the manila and start using these as templates because um, I Susie um, at the Shabby Soul has done <clears throat> several journals with these and I just thought it would be a lot of fun to, to tweak that. And... Now that's actually, st I'm starting to think maybe the next journal I'm working on, I might do that. Hmm, I'd forgot about that. So yeah, that might be, I might be doing something with these very soon. Um, okay guys, I think that's really um, most of it. Uh, oh no, I do have uh, some places to share with you. And... I'll just go very quickly through this because this is it's just a this has all been uh, thrifted except for <clears throat> these were Amazon purchases. I think I told you guys that earlier. Everything else in here has been thrifted and I just got a really really good deal on on some of these. I mean, this is a couple of yards and that was in a bag with others and I paid 50 cents for that. So there's some muslin fabric, 75 cents, and as you can see, it's just a huge amount of lace. And this has come from multiple shops, and um, you know, I don't think any of it I've probably paid more than 75 cents for. But so that's it's always nice when you can find things like that. So this is just. I keep that up in my storage and then I pull it out when I need to have a little bit. So that's it guys. That's what I've been um, collecting and uh, so now you know where I'm working. You can kind of visualize my setup and yeah. Okay, that's all I've got to share today. You guys take care and I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye.